And this is my life with albinism. Now this is my life with albinism. And this is my life with albinism. All right, so we're back with another episode of Life with Albinism. Yes, sir. Again, we are here <laughs> at the NOAA conference, the Albinism Conference in Orlando. And yes. we have a special guest here. But as usual, I'm Dale. I'm Avery. And we have probably our most favorite guest. She's been yes. on like maybe eight <laughs> episodes by now. Maya Warren. You don't even yes. got to introduce yourself For no more. They know who you are on For Life real. with Albinism. Yes. So let's get straight to it. Um, so since the last time we've been filming with LWA, um, you've been doing a lot of like advocacy work, a lot of public speaking, a lot of uh, things with Noah. Can you just take a take take a couple minutes to explain to the people what you've been doing recently, what you're up to now, and everything that you got going on? Uh, yeah, let me let me try to reach back that far. Right. I think the last time we filmed was January. It, since since like the pandemic, okay. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean. So, um, so I started advocacy in the eighth grade. So I've been I doing it recently. Um, my yeah, I'm, I'm, getting to that. So, um, I'm getting to that. So I started in eighth grade, and then since then, you know, the pandemic has hit. So all my events were like virtual. Yeah. And so now it's coming into like more in person type mm-hmm. events, especially in the state of North Carolina. So since we last talked, I think I've done upwards of maybe 10 or 12 speaking engagements. Um, so, so a couple of weeks ago, I was in Greenville, North Carolina, at the North Car- the East Carolina University Inclusion Summit, talking about how inclusion doesn't mean inclusion unless it includes people with disabilities and medical conditions mm-hmm. and chronic illnesses. Um, two weeks before that, I was in Raleigh, uh, in the state capital of North Carolina at NC State talking about um, student-led IEPs, mental health, as it uh, you know, includes students with disabilities and just people with disabilities in general. Uh, I've spoken on a number of parent center uh, webinars and events, which parent, parent centers are essentially state or oh, federally mandated, mandated state organizations that are supposed to specialize in helping, you know, parents of children Mm. with disabilities kind of navigate it by providing mostly free resources. Mm. It depends on state to state. So talking to a number of those in North Carolina, uh, met with Duke University's um, pediatric residency students talking about the medical system and how uh, medical providers can be more inclusive and accommodating. Um, which was a great experience, you know. Mm. I'm a Tar Heel fan, so meeting with Duke was like, oh, okay, you know, it'll be all right. Nice. Um, (laughs) I, on a monthly basis, lead a young adult empowerment group with the Vision of Services for the Blind in North Carolina for Mm. um, young adults 18 to about 26. She made me want to step out. Right. I'm like, you know what's so funny? I was having a, um, (laughs) (laughs) I probably shouldn't even say this on camera, but I'm going to do it anyway. All right. Yeah. yeah. I was having a conversation with one of my friends Mm. and he asked me about you because you you said a really good impression on our podcast. Mm. And um, and I, and he asked me, like, do I feel like anyone is catching up to me in terms of the podcast game? The album is a podcast game. Mm. And I said, you know, I'm going to be honest. If I don't stay on top of my game, there's only one person that's going to blow me out of the water. Right, and it's going right. to be her. Yeah, yeah. And I really Definitely. mean that. Like, if I don't stay on top of my podcast game, you're going to be that person that's going to blow yeah, me out it's of the taking water. Over and when someone begins are. to think about albinism, they're either going to think of me or they're going to think of you. Yeah. Well, and you know, honestly, I'm not in competition. Yeah, but client, no, but and that's, wanna, that's and wanna, why it's so say. empowering because and, you, and, and, you, 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 you give hope. You feel right. me? Like you, when you speak to people, they feel your words. And I mean that, you feel me? I'm a, I'm a fan, you feel yeah. me? Like I don't watch and, much of it, but I reason, like I've, I've watched a recent um, they, uh, speech that you did and it was just so empowering, and I was just like, "Damn, that's that's deep." I got I got to meet her. You know what I'm saying? So and now that I'm meeting you here at this conference, that's like you you up there. You know what I mean? Yeah, and so and I, I want to be clear. So my statement yeah. was not about us competing or you yeah. being competition for yeah. me being competition for you. I'm not thinking like that at all. So don't don't run with the <laughs> wrong narrative. Yeah. Yeah, and what I'm trying to say is that is that if I don't continue to do as good as I'm doing, 
you will be that that face of albinism, you know. Yes. And I feel like albinism is such a small community that it will get to the point where when people think about albinism, they're going to think of one particular face. Yeah. And that's just how things are, right? Yeah, Again, yeah, yeah, not yeah. no competition thing. Yeah, like branches and nothing. Yeah, like it's like that, like right. it's like if you know nothing about basketball and you think yeah. of the NBA, you'll think of LeBron, LeBron, LeBron James. James. LeBron, you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. it's like one of us is going to be the LeBron of albinism. You yeah, know? And, and for me, like, and the reason why I say like I'm not competing is because genuinely, like your podcast mm. um like i discovered it during the pandemic and it was one of the things that was like oh wow we out here yeah, you man. know so i'm more of how can i build bridges of connection and relationship bridges, because yeah. ultimately um for me i i think what drives me is to be what i didn't have so i didn't have this okay. as a kid yeah. i didn't have a podcast to reference Same. so how can i make sure that i am putting myself in a position where if someone comes along they're like hey i'm 15 13 i'm mm. gonna start a podcast i want to find my voice yeah. being like the next person that can be like okay come here let me show you yeah um yeah, based on steps. your gifts and yeah. your talents how can we help you so i think with the albinism community we have a unique opportunity where you know, we do represent each other. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and I think that that's one of the biggest reasons why we started collaborating with you on the podcast um, during the pandemic and even being able to connect with you now mm -hmm. is because we see, like, how powerful what uh, all of your efforts are. Um, and <clears throat> you've actually... It, now, I want to ask, like, all of those public speakings that you've done for disabilities mm -hmm. and for low vision and albinism, how did you get connected with all of those public speaking opportunities? Honestly... Um, it's finding a way to communicate the needs that I see in my community. Okay. So what I mean by that with DSB, how I started the Young Adult Empowerment Group is because I, I'm a consumer, like a client of DSB. I received like their low vision help, all of that, the vocational rehab. But they have this public forum. And you know, most people will pass over an invitation for a public forum, mm -hmm. but as nerdy as I am, I was like, oh, okay, well, let me just sit in on this, see what yeah. the executives and whatnot are saying. And I was in the meeting and I was like, ah, I hear them. They're, they're talking about great things, but mm -hmm. I'm concerned about this. And for mm -hmm. me, statistics of loneliness were increasing for my age demographic mm -hmm. exponentially, but especially among those of us with disabilities. Why ain't that being discussed? And mm -hmm. so, I raised my hand in like the Zoom conference webinar format, yeah. and the executive director was like, hey, Maya, that's your name? And she was like, what's up, essentially? And I told her, like, this is what's going oh, on with young adults. Yeah. Um, this is what we need. I can help fill that need. Um, <laughs> and what about the opportunity at Duke? Uh, Duke, I work with the North Carolina's parent center known as the Exceptional um, Children's Assistance Center, and that connection came from me using my voice in that public forum. Oh, so wow. So it kind of wow. led to the other connection. Out. Yeah, yeah. That it public out. forum, uh, it, it helped me work with DSB in not just the client sense, but like a contract thing or, you know, adjacent sense, but also there's people within DSB who do different things. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. one of the facilitators of the Deaf Blind Project, Deborah Pickens, who is one of my friends, parents and shout she, out to you yes yes <laughs> shout out to her and, and billy um they work on that project and she also works with ecac so through that connection i got connected with their youth advisory team and the deaf blind institute so mm -hmm. it's just a matter of Who how you know. can you use your yeah. voice um because yeah. people tell you like it's, it's all about it's not what you know it's who you know yeah, but you even know, if yeah. you know someone like are you the kind of person who has integrity can you communicate? Are you someone who's interested in building relationships, so not just yeah, networking? Because right. unfortunately, networking kind of has a bad taste in my mouth. Just because mm. my generation, like in college, you just volunteer for stuff just to get a volunteer ship to do yeah. it. But and I believe you do stuff because you're passionate about it and intentional, yeah. not just because it gets something. And you know, I kind of agree with you, like how you mentioned with where it's like, but people say it's not who you know is is what it's not what you know, know is who, who you know. know. Yeah. I've always believed the opposite. It's not who you know, but what you know, because you may not know anyone, but if you can articulate yourself and you're educated and you're smart enough and you know where to you know where to go, it will take you places. You know. What well, I mean? yes and no. I think it's because it, it is like that, right? Yeah. You have to know some to know someone, mm -hmm. right? But and like. The people that you you know, what do they know? 
and, and, and who can they branch you off to? Right. You feel and me? So it has, you know. And to your point, that's a good point. Mm-hmm. I think it doesn't have to be and or. or. I, I mean, right. Or, or I mean, the or. ideal situation is both. Yeah. Knowing for people me, and knowing what knowledge. matters. Uh, first and foremost, the uh-huh. love, like who I know mm-hmm. and what I know is. Am I the kind of person who can steward this relationship, whether it's in a business mm-hmm. sense, mm-hmm. Uh, with person. integrity? Yeah. Uh, am I? What is my mission? Because I can know people who are very affluent mm-hmm. or have resources, but if those resources resources aren't for my mission, then it's not gonna yeah. Um, yeah. have yeah. impact. So I think it's more using wisdom in those moments. Yes, like. that's what I was gonna say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. And you know, and, and another thing, Maya. I guess we'll just use this opportunity to give you your flowers, you know what I mean? <laughs> because um, Maya's also like a, I don't know how to describe it, but she's like, <laughs> almost like a like a, like a a counselor for me. Yo, remember, yeah, I don't crazy. know if you remember, but there was this one night, I was kind of upset about something. I'm not going to go into yeah. all the details, but there was, let's just say this to keep it short, there was a little bit of drama I was going through in the Albinism community, yeah. and I called Maya. And we had like maybe an hour long conversation over the phone. And she explained exactly what it was and what was going on in in such a way that I was able to process the information. And I was like, whoa. This this, this, this young lady is going somewhere. How how old are you? If you don't mind. I'm 24. 24. 24. 24. And she was like almost sitting me down like, oh. You know, That's like like said. like a tutor. When she speak, to... <laughs> when she speak it, it 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 hits home. It like really you, does. You, you, you really feel it. Like it really she does. she say like whatever she talk about is so much passion and so much oomph with it. You be like, and I and I must like, you gotta like sit down say and this. evaluate your life. Like, <laughs> and I'm and I'm gonna say this. It's like the tables are coming full circle too because I know that I inspired Maya to do her podcast. Yeah. But now she's inspiring me to do more than a podcast. Yeah, 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 because like with this Noah conference, yeah. they had this um, opportunity for people to apply to um, to speak, or if they wanted to do their own panel and things like that. Okay. I had the opportunity to register for yeah. that, but I chose not to. Yeah. And I know that Maya did, and obviously got chosen. And I was like, I was like so happy for her. Yeah. And I see all the work that you've been doing in it. Yes. You're now inspiring me. To so now do more than just game, a podcast. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like. then and then another thing I was even saying, I was watching her podcast one mm. time, and this this chick had a professional mic. Like she had like the big, you know, the I big mic with the arm. I told you. You know what I'm saying? That you look, look like she in the radio station you know or something. Me? Like, but she probably sitting in her in her dirty bedroom or something. Why her bedroom got to be dirty? I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm just joking. <laughs> but um. And when I see that, I was like, yo, I better start getting some professional I'm, equipment because people you, are bro. out here doing it. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, people are really out here doing it. So yeah, I just want to give you your flowers and just let you know that you've been doing a really, really good job. Amazing. Yeah. You've been doing so, a really good job. And I appreciate that. And even the podcast, like, I'm the kind of person, I'm very methodical. So yeah. I had the idea for a podcast. Mm. And there were, like, different things that would hit me. <laughs> It was like, oh, I feel convicted that yeah. I need to stop waiting. Because I think the notion with content creation and social media, because we have Instagram influencers and mm. higher up YouTubers, we think we got to have the best camera, we got to yeah. have the best design skills. Yeah. But really, we just need to start. And I think I had that idea since December of 20. 20 okay and then i reflected i was like okay where are some examples because you know anytime you call to do something yeah. out of your comfort zone you yeah. want to find some blueprint yeah. yeah so i was like okay i remember this podcast I do your homework by the name, <laughs> oh i think it was life without me so mm. i'm looking at that and there was another podcast i can't remember the name of mm. um but all those things and then a friend of mine at the time uh, ended up coming on so I'm like hey there's this software you can use instead of Zoom because mm-hmm. I know Zoom is messing with your vision mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Uh, and so like it, it's when you say yes to the things that you're called to like things happen mm-hmm. to help you along that journey I think a lot of times we just got to get past our head and start okay yeah yeah and definitely see well listen another amazing episode 
I'm so I'm good, good to catch up over here. You right. Know me? Like, hey, yo, still, I'm right. really it's a fan so of good to catch up with like, you. You know me? Like, yes. um, do you, you said you have merch, right? Yes, yes. I actually have some with me. Well, let's see. Well, yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I have limited edition t shirts. Um, you gotta step your game up. I want a holograph. <laughs> yeah, listen. <laughs> you know, we got some limited edition uh, merchandise. Yeah, as well. we, actually we got the actually, Life of Albinism yeah. swimming trunks. Those are super rare. Yeah, we yeah, you know, just get, Shipment just came in. So. Right here. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Um, okay, you know. golden. Nice. So, Golden by Design is kind of like my albinism mm. moniker. Okay. And it okay. serves to just uh, kind of underscore the way that we are not mistakes. Okay. We are here on purpose and to embrace the fact that in many spaces we are highlighters. And Why so, everything she say give me goosebumps? You know? <laughs> like, I'm like, damn. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of Gandhi, the yeah, outfit like, of Gandhi yeah. over here. Like, <laughs> it is good. So, you know, that's one of my favorite combinations. Okay, right okay. And then oh, I, I like that. One as well. Ooh, okay. okay. Um, is this this one right here? Is this an adult size? In here, um, one of these? What size do you have these now? These are adults. And these two are kids. Okay. I sold okay. my extra large. Okay, so she got kids and adults. Okay. You better copy right, yours so today. This green one, what size is this? I believe that's the... I like that blue one. That's a large. Okay. What's that? And this this brown one, what's this, a small? Uh, The brown one, I believe, is a small. And the and blue? And the blue is a medium. Okay. Wait, the blue is bigger than the, nah, nah. bigger than the brown? No, it ain't. No, it... It's just by hair. <laughs> by hair. Well, you said you said the the brown one is uh, medium. I wish small. I had some small. sneakers to match one of these. Do I got some? And they're one. available online. Oh, so these are online limited edition. Where? Give the, so as we close out, give yeah. the people your social medias, your yeah. website, and where to find your merch. Yeah. So everything you can Google me. My name is M A Y I A W A R R E N, and my website and. LinkedIn and IG and YouTube podcast, all that will pop up. But if you go on my website, everything is there, including my merch and my podcast merch. And Look, I'm folding this. Like, I'm about to copy this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Tell them what your podcast is. What's the name right. of your podcast and how can the, they find it? It's the Better Not Bitter podcast. And if you go on my website, there will be a link to the podcast. You there can you listen go. on the website or you can go to whatever streaming platform you prefer. All right. Hey, thank you, you heard it here first. You know what I mean? More than Yo, a pleasure. Definitely. More than a pleasure. I am a huge you. fan. You know what I mean? More than a pleasure. I swear, every time. Always. You, yo, you VIP, bro. Like, <laughs> right. You're playing. Like. Well, you're visually impaired. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs>